He's got the eyes of the world on him, so he can't get anything wrong. He's got the eyes of the president on him, so he again, can't get anything wrong. He's got that DOJ letter that came out right before his testimony that says he can't say anything full stop. And he's got a 488-page volume in front of him that, um, while I'm sure he's more familiar with it than, than anyone else on this planet, he didn't write every word. He, he just answered under oath today that he didn't sit through every interview. So he's he's got a lot of forces bearing down on him. Even the practice of members of either party saying to him, uh, uh, page 169, paragraph two. Right. He's always in the middle of looking for that citation. Well, and listen, I, I think it's a little bit akin to, you know, we have off the record conversations and then you're on the air trying to remember what part of that conversation was on the record and off mm -hmm. the record. For Robert Mueller, he's got a report. He's got grand jury information that's in there. He's got things that are part of ongoing investigations. Remember Bill Barr's color coded system? Yep. Um, you know, and, and, and there's also, and this is on Twitter and I'm sure you'll, you'll hear this other places, th there's some performance questions. I mean, there, there is a quickness that is familiar to people that watched him. I'm sure Claire notices this. Um, in his years as FBI director, he hasn't been FBI director now for nearly a decade. So, so there, there was um, a familiar, there, there was something less familiar about today's performance than the Bob Mueller that people saw when he was FBI director. Claire McCaskill, former Missouri Democratic senator, is part of our coverage as well. Senator, your assessment thus far? Well, what you're seeing is um, really old-fashioned in today's modern politics, someone being very cautious and careful. Um, you know, that's gone out the window in the era of the chaotic and incompetent administration in the White House right now. Chaos and, you know, playing games with the truth, that's the norm. And everything, at a pol everybody's an enemy and political. That's not who this man is. This man is, at his essence, cautious and careful. And so, uh, so much reverence for the rule of law. So. His, his, him being careful looks like, in some instances, like he doesn't know the answers. But it's really, and I think one thing the Democrats are doing that is helpful is they're putting so much of the report up for him to look at that they're referring to. And I think that is very helpful for people who are trying to follow the points they're trying to make, particularly as it relates to obstruction of justice. Yes, Chuck, and yeah. then we're joined by a friend of yours. And, and to that point, I think what you should look for in Mueller's testimony going forward is what we've already seen. That restraint sort of underscores the fact that he's not trying to get anybody. He's not trying to get so anybody. It would have been easy to say, for instance, the president lied, the president obstructed justice, I've made a referral to this committee, you ought to impeach him. He doesn't do any of that, right? What he says are, you know, when asked about a, a passage in his report, he says, yes, I wrote that, that's correct. For instance, in the Nadler questioning the call, and I think you're right, I thought it was um, quite good, right? He answered honestly Nadler's questions about findings in the report, mm -hmm. but he's not trying to get anyone. And, and that's my point, Brian. Good prosecutors and good agents don't set out to get people. They set out to get facts. They set out to get the truth. And that's what you're hearing from Bob Mueller. Friend hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.